Tell me, just sum up the dressing room in there, absolute scenes at the end. Unbelievable. You know, you can't describe them moments. You know, um, times like this, you know, this is, this is what takes teams to the next level. You know, you might not have the best game. Um, the other team might be dominating your game and have more chances than you. But, you know, last 10, five last minutes, you know, you just got to make them opportunities count, stay in the game and take your chances when it comes. It would have been a decent point on the road, but did you always want more? Did you always feel there was more to come? Yeah, you know, from the start of the game, we knew that three points would be big here. You know, um, you know, the game started, um, we scored the equaliser. You know, in them situations, you just say, all right, we'll take the draw, because obviously coming here is never easy. Well, you know, we got our chances, you know. It takes two minutes for Super Jack to provide the chance for Jimmy Danger, gets a shot, and Albert's in the right place at the right time. I thought he should have passed to me, but he took his chance well. Talk us through your 23rd goal of the campaign. You had to scrap for it, it looked like. <laughs> you know, um, I was playing, I went to the centre back when we were 2 1 up, and I saw us go on the camera. So I ran all the way from centre back and said, Listen, if we're in, I'm going. So I just ran. I think Tyrone tried to stop me, say, Stay, stay, stay. But um, I just kept going. You know, um, Elmo looked up, he saw me. The pass was just a bit too heavy, but um, my long legs, my gadget legs, you know, uh, luckily wrapped my foot around him, you know, got the ball. So the keeper was out, just had to stay calm and just try to slide it beside him. You've done it plenty of times already this season, of course, but what was it like that moment celebrating in front of those four and a half thousand away fans? Unbelievable, you know, it's just times like that is unbelievable. You know, you go through a whole game and not have one chance to 94th minute and, you know, you get that chance and you take it and then just see the fans' reaction, you know, they know this is a massive win for us, a massive goal, you know, just to kill off the game. And yeah, for me, it's an amazing feeling. What's driving this team at the minute? Six wins in a row now. Nobody could have seen that a couple of months ago. You know, for me, I've always believed in the boys. I've always believed in the team. You know, um, we just needed to get some little things right. And that's what we're doing. You know, in seeing training, the competition's very high. You know, um, everyone wants to win in training, you know, and we take it into the game. Everyone wants to win. We're on the same platform, you know, always want to do our best and want the best for the team. Just lastly, a massive week now back up here. In Yorkshire for Rotherham on Wednesday and what a game back at Villa Park. It looks like it's going to be Bristol City, your old boys. Yeah, it's going to be. We've got good games coming up, exciting ones. Um, the one against Rotherham, listen, we can't take that for granted. You know, we have to go there all guns blazing like we did today you know, in the last 10 minutes. You know, we've got to start like that. We've got to try to take our chances. And um, the game against Bristol is going to be a big one it's for the boys and for me as well, you know, being my old team. Um, but, you know, just got to keep doing our best and keep taking our chances.